right, it's Tuesday, July uh, 26, 2016. Uh, Maneco 64, uh, home of alternative uh, economics and contrarian views. I like to speak about the uh, state of the UK economy or the British economy. Today, there's an article in the FT, Financial Times, and it says, MPC member Martin Wheel shifts stance to bank to back stimulus call. Uh, MPC stands for Monetary Policy Committee. It's a committee at the Bank of England uh, made up of nine individuals, including uh, the governor, Mark Carney. And they decide every month whether to change interest rates. And uh, they haven't changed interest rates, I don't know, in about eight, nine years. And uh, Martin Wheel uh, voted uh, to keep rates unchanged in the previous meeting uh, earlier, earlier in July. And uh, now he's changed his, his views because he's seen a bit more data which were gathered or uh, collected post-Brexit. And uh, it was the uh, PMI, uh, service PMI data, uh, which surveys uh, companies and asks uh, how, uh, you know, business prospects are and it came way below 50 which means that the economy is uh you know neutral above 50 means expanding or below 50 it means the service economy is shrinking and it was the lowest it was below 50 and it was and it was the lowest uh service p for service pmi number since 2009 so he's saying now that uh you know he'll probably vote to cut rates next week uh, on Thursday, and that they could also do QE, but he goes on to say, you know, this is not going to have a immediate uh, impact. In my opinion, it might not even have an impact for it, even in the long long term, because uh, I think what the UK economy needs is higher rates. You know, there's a lot of uh, savers and uh, pensioners that need higher rates, but that's another subject. So. Uh, you know, he's saying now that uh, it will take a long time to for this stimulus uh, or rate and rate cuts uh, to go into the economy and help the economy. And he thinks we're already going into a recession. And, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, uh, the uh, recession has been here for for the last few years. The only reason we haven't had a re uh, official recession is because GDP has been kept artificially low by government spending. If the formula for GDP adds uh, consumer spending, uh, investment, it adds government uh, expenditures, which is government spending as well, and then it my and adds net exports. So the government has been running you know, budget deficits uh, since 2008 when uh, the Tory government or the coalition government came to power in 2010. I think the budget deficit, deficit was 11%. And uh, the, the latest one uh, in 2005, ending in the fiscal year April 2016, budget deficit was 4%. It was $77 billion. So, if you took that budget deficit and balanced it to zero, uh, you, you'd have to take GDP, which I think was around 1.6 or 1.7, and sub subtract 4%, and you get a negative GDP. So if you uh, add the negative number to uh, the GDP numbers, the negative budget deficit to the GDP numbers for the last five, six years, our economy has been in a, in a depression. The only reason it looks like it's not in a recession is because the government has been overspending. And people are catching on to it because I've got an article here from June 2010 when Osborne had just taken over as chancellor and his budget for 2010 uh, came out and he said that he, he promised to balance the books by 2015. This is an article from The Telegraph, and I, and I quote, and this is George Osborne, the coalition government will take responsibility for balancing Britain's 
books within five years, end quote. So we're in 2016 now, you know, in the six years later, and we are still running a 4% budget deficit. And now we've got a new chancellor and uh, apparently they don't even expect to uh, hit uh, a balanced budget by 2020. So all I'm trying to say is when they say the UK economy is doing well, it's not. Because there's a fallacy. People think that governments invest, uh, but governments spend. Investment is when you're running a business and you invest your own money and you expect a return. Governments don't expect a return. Governments don't care because it's not their money. They just spend the money. Um, so... And there's also anecdotal evidence, uh, you know, that the UK economy has never, you know, really recovered and we've been in a recession. I've listened to, I subscribe to a channel, uh, it's called A St. Andrian in Ex Exile. Uh, and uh, I assume it's a, it's a Scottish guy, he's 34 years old. Uh, I assume he was a St. Andrews University graduate because it says a St. Saint, Andrian in exile. It's a very good university, St. Andrews. And he's 34. He's graduated three times. I think he's even got a PhD. And um, I've put uh, his video above, so, you know, in, in the card, so you can listen to it. And uh, it's sad, because he's 34. He can't find... He's a very clever guy. You listen to his video, what he talks about. And uh, he can't find a job with a, you know, three degrees, PhD. But one thing that I would give him credit for is that uh, even though he's living with his parents and he doesn't really have a, a steady job, he has uh, no debt. Uh, he doesn't, uh, you know, have a mortgage, doesn't borrow money uh, to go on holidays. He lives you know, a frugal life. And he seems all right, even though, you know, he's 34, he's got no family, like he's not married, no kids, and has to live with his parents. But he has good advice, I think, you know, live within your means. Uh, don't borrow, never a borrower or a lender be. That, that's what he says. So there you go. Uh, you know, if the UK economy was doing so well, we wouldn't have people like, uh, a St. Andrian in Exile, that's his uh, channel, YouTube channel name, we wouldn't have someone like him, I think his name is Malcolm, we wouldn't have someone like him uh, out of work at age 34, uh, a clever guy as well, I, I would add, and quite, uh, you know, uh, articulate. So there you go, that's the state of the UK economy, uh, of course they're blaming it on Brexit, but if you've listened to my videos before, the uh, f you know all this talk that uh, the UK economy has been growing better than the German economy and one of the best economies in the world, that's plain fallacy and just smokes and mirror. Because if you take out the budget deficits we've been running, the real economy uh, of the private sector is actually been shrinking and government spending doesn't help. It doesn't help, even though George Osborne and the Tories or the coalition government were supposed to be doing austerity. They weren't doing austerity because the, bud, the national debt has doubled since they came to power and they, they haven't balanced the books. How can it be austerity if the government is running a deficit? So that's my view of the UK economy and it pro it's the same for the U.S. economy, more or less, I would say. So you can take that to the bank for if you live in the U.S. You know, the U.S. economy isn't doing well either. The Europeans, I guess, they're more in a straight jacket because, you know, they can't, each individual government within the Eurozone, they can't spend like we can by not being in the uh, Eurozone or having, you know, our own currency, the pound. So there you have it. If you enjoy my analysis, please like, share, and subscribe. Take care. Bye.